Hi, in this video we will create an Angular uh, application or standalone application in um, Visual Studio. So we have here, we say here, create, when we open our Visual Studio, let's do it like this. We open Visual Studio 2022. So I show this because uh, there are new uh, templates there. So we have created a new project. <coughs> then we say Angular. And now in Angular we have two uh, different uh, templates um, in 2022. There's the standalone TypeScript uh, Angular project that's different from the, uh, the previous one. So the projects there are in a separate folder. So we say here, uh, create this one. We say Angular project under my uh, folder place the solution as the solution file inside the, of the project add integration of MT ASP net web API project this means um, it has a straight um, it goes to the connected backend on the same side <coughs> so it creates uh, new stuff you need uh, nodejs.org uh, the uh, current version on your machine or any current version. Now what you see there is you see now a project on the right side that's the Angular uh, 2 project. <coughs> Let's see if it runs and uh, this one is different from the uh, previous solutions. You see there is uh, your start all, all what you need for starting your project and um, and when I open now the other project, this is our other project with ASP.NET Core with Angular. So Angular is here a client app. That's the client app on uh, that application. I take it next together. Let's do it like this. Now we have it. Uh, this one, go to the right side. And we have the other one, that's the Angular stuff on the left side. So you see, here's the source folder. And uh, in the ASP uh, Angular uh, project, you have it as a client app. So you have the client app itself and the controllers on, your, on the same project. So with this one, you go to, when you open here the, uh, the client app, and you have your counter application, for example, then you go to to the uh, on the same side to the controller on your uh, on your uh, application. So you are able to uh, to deploy that stuff as a web app on one web app. So you have one web app and the web app uh, the data and the and the, the front end and the back end is on one side. So when you have this one. This is the, uh, and uh, for this one launching the spa uh, proxy, that's uh, that the, uh, the routing and all that stuff is on the app, running in the application. So when you open this one now, that's the uh, application with ASP Angular and, uh, on one side. So you have here a default application with an incremental and some fetching data, and that's the point on the fetching data it goes to the controller on the on the same side so when you open when you click fetch then it goes from this client app goes to the controller on controllers weather forecast and that's and then it opens that stuff so you are here and then it comes here it opens the controller it, uh, that's the uh, there's a logger inside and here that's a, an uh, a get method and when it opens the uh, the get weather forecast then it goes to the controller on the same side uh, and even if there is uh, the identity model behind uh, it's still used there so when we have this one and when we stop it again having a, now a look on the on the other application and have you see this is by random values 
Then on the other side, we have now this uh, standalone application. There is TypeScript and anything in there. And here is the app. And here is uh, default the components, but no, uh, no uh, example. It's empty. So when you run this, I don't think there's uh, it's a blank application. I don't know if it's really running. Wait. Here, command npm install exited uh, exited with uh, code one. So this one it's just a frame inside, uh, which you may now drop into a um, total project where you have the front end on the one on the the spa front end on one folder, and then you add a separate project. You create a separate project. Um, and you may add the other one uh, project as a um, uh, API controller. So you have one f one project which goes to the uh, to the front end, and one which goes to the back end. And that's the difference between both uh, templates in Visual Studio 2022.